Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 MMOs that you can play right now in 2024. This of course is a personal list and completely my opinion of what the top 10 MMOs are to play right now, but without further ado let's jump into it. Starting off at number 10 we have Albion Online. Albion Online is a free-to-play sandbox MMO that focuses on a player-driven economy, classless combat system, and big PvP battles. One of Albion Online's big draws is its very in-depth crafting and gathering system, and the fact that it's cross-platform. You can play on PC or mobile and link your accounts together. This game will run on basically any device, and it has content tailored to people who like PvE and not just player versus player. It offers features that some MMOs don't such as player housing, guild warfare, local market boards, and a player driven economy. This game is still getting regular free updates which has improved the game a ton. There was even a free update that completely overhauled the graphics of the game. Now one controversial aspect of Albion Online is that it has full open world PvP loot, meaning that if you're traveling solo you might run into a big pack of players that will just murder you and take all your stuff, so you might want to join a guild pretty quick if you jump into this game. Albion Online is still very popular and there's a lot of people that love this game, but it is an isometric style game, meaning that the camera angle in this game is similar to Diablo or League of Legends. This could turn some people off from the game, but if you're okay with that style and you like PvP, Albion Online is probably one of the best PvP focused MMOs out there right now. Albion Online is completely free to play, but there is a $15 per month version of it, and if you want to get everything out of the game you're probably going to want to pay that fee. But for free, you can check out the game and see if it's something that you're into. Moving on to number 9, and that is Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is probably the outlier on this list considering it's not a traditional MMO and some might not consider it an MMO at all. Destiny 2 is a pay to play first person multiplayer shooter that has MMO aspects such as raids, loot, and group PvP. The main reason I'm adding Destiny 2 to this list is because unfortunately it will be shutting down soon due to layoffs at Bungie. Destiny 2's latest expansion, The Final Shape, came out to very positive reviews, so if you ever thought about playing Destiny 2 and you never got around to it, now is probably your last chance to go and experience the story before it gets taken down for good. If you were a fan of Halo back in the day, then you will love the gameplay of Destiny considering it's basically the same thing. Except you'll be doing massive raid battles and going through a pretty enthralling story to get there and fighting over some loot. Destiny 2 itself is free to play, but the newest expansion, The Final Shape, will cost you around $50. So if you want to experience that newest story before the game fades away, you will have to cough up some money. Although there is no monthly service fee to continue playing. Being a first person shooter, Destiny 2 does have some of the more faster paced PvP battles opposed to the other MMOs on this list, and the raid battles are very enthralling and fun, though of course this style of game will not be for everyone. Moving on to number 8 we have Black Desert Online. This is an open world action based MMO with amazing graphics and a huge world to explore. This game features a lot of aspects like farming, crafting, gathering, trading, fishing, sailing, and a lot more. There is very challenging PvE combat in this game, but it is more PvP focused similar to the previous two MMOs I spoke of. It even has large scale PvP battles called sieges that actually affects who controls which areas of the map, and that can affect tax rates, the resources in the area, and more. This game also features open world PvP where anyone can attack anyone else at any given time for any reason. Although there is a karma system to keep criminal players in check. There's also player housing in this game, along with one of the most in-depth character customizer that I have ever seen. Black Desert Online costs about 10 US dollars to buy, but there is a 21 day free trial so you can check out the game, see if it's something that you enjoy before you purchase it. There's no subscription fee to this game, but there are cosmetics in the game that you can buy with real money, and there are little boosts and bonuses that you can buy with real money that you can kind of see as a premium subscription to the game, and if you're serious about the game, you'll probably want to pay up for those. Moving on to number 7, let's talk about New World. This MMO came out in 2021 and was created by Amazon Games. It had a bit of a rocky start when it came out with a lot of bugs and a lot of things not quite working the way they were intended, but there have been a few major updates since then and the developers have really put their all into making this game something that they can be proud of. This game offers a beautifully stunning world and fully voiced quests all the way up to max level. It has a deep crafting and gathering system and big open world dungeons, as well as many well designed dungeons called expeditions. 
there is also an action-based combat system similar to Black Desert Online. This MMO might have some of the best sound design and music on this list, and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't yet. On top of that, there is some incredibly challenging PvE content, which might be refreshing to some people after all the PvP-focused games that I've talked about so far. Though, if you are a fan of PvP, there are 3v3 arenas and a couple types of battlegrounds in this game for you to enjoy. There's even a PvP mode called Outpost Rush, which is a 20v20 battlegrounds. There's also a 50v50 war mode in PvP, but it's a little less accessible, but it can still be fun. Trying to get the best gear for either PvE or PvP in this game can be a huge grind, but it can definitely be worth it if you're into the gameplay. And they have toned it down since launch, so it's not quite as grindy as it used to be. New World is still getting some major and minor updates, and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. So if you have never checked out this MMO, now is the best time to do so, as it is a much better game than it used to be on launch. New World does not have a subscription fee, but you will have to cough up $40 for the standard version of the game. So if you're okay with that one-time purchase and some more action-based PvE combat is what you're craving, check out New World. Number 6 is Star Wars The Old Republic. Star Wars The Old Republic is one of the older games on this list, coming out in 2008, but that doesn't stop it from having one of the best stories in an MMO, period. Star Wars The Old Republic was made by BioWare, the same developers that made Mass Effect, Jade Empire, Dragon Age, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, so they have a lot of storytelling experience under their belt. And that clearly shows here. No matter what path you choose in this game, if you decide to be good or evil, the storytelling is top-notch, especially if you're into the Star Wars franchise. The combat and gameplay is pretty simplistic to today's standards, but who wouldn't want to swing around a lightsaber in an MMO? This game does offer plenty of PvE and PvP options, but as I've stated, the main draw of this game is really the story that focuses around your character. So if you're looking for a more single-player experience in your MMO, this is definitely one of the best options for you. There is a subscription fee of $15 a month, there is no purchase fee, and some people might see $15 a month as a little steep for a game that's this old. But if you're a fan of Bioware storytelling, Star Wars, or just want a more secluded experience in a multiplayer game, this is one of the best picks for you. Next at number 5, we're going to talk about Lost Ark. When this game came out in 2022, it was everywhere. Soon after its release, there was 1.3 million concurrent players for this game on Steam, which is just mind-blowing. Although the number has dropped a lot since release, it is concurrently one of the top 10 most played games on Steam to this day. Lost Ark is an MMO that features a ton of content, a huge world with multiple continents, and a bunch of activities such as logging, mining, crafting, and a lot more. You can get a stronghold, which you can put on a personal island and completely customize any way that you want. There's multiple types of dungeons and a lot of options for PvP, including an arena mode where all your gear is normalized so you don't have to worry about people getting better gear than you and outpowering you. This allows you to focus on learning your class and focusing on skill rather than having to focus on the numbers and on gear. This is an MMO that's perfect for both casual and hardcore players, as there's just so many ways to play the game, you aren't pigeonholed into one specific type. Lost Ark is an isometric MMO though, similar to Albion Online, and again, this might turn off some people from the game, but I think it's worth looking past to get to the bigger picture. This is a very popular game with so much content that it could entertain you for hundreds or thousands of hours. Lost Ark is completely free to play with zero subscription fee and zero buy-in. However, there is a currency in the game called Crystals, which you can purchase with real money. This allows you to buy cosmetic changes or little boosts to the gameplay, which can kind of be considered a premium membership. Though that really isn't needed to enjoy the game and all of its content. Next up on the list at number 4 is Elder Scrolls Online. This of course is an MMORPG based on the Elder Scrolls franchise. This game was released in 2014, but has had a ton of updates and a lot of expansions along the way that add a ton of content and modernize the gameplay. This game is still massively popular, so you're sure to see giant crowds of players every time you go into a city in the game. This game features fully voiced questlines and really amazing stories that are similar to the Elder Scrolls series of games, and amazing stories that are similar to the single-player Elder Scrolls games. There's also amazing music, really challenging PvP fights, huge dungeons, and a lot of PvP options. The combat is first-person action, similar to the Elder Scrolls series, but there is a bit of a soft lock handicap that makes it easier to aim your abilities just in case your connection isn't that good. It's very different from what's in a lot of other MMOs, and some people find the soft lock assist to be hindering more than helpful. There's also PvP where three teams of four players fight to achieve the objective. 
There's multiple different maps and objectives for this PvP mode, but I think that it's pretty fun. There is no subscription fee to Elder Scrolls Online, though there is a small buy-in. You can usually find it on sale for pretty cheap on Steam. Or if you play on console, this game is also available on PlayStation and Xbox. Although this MMO is very different from the others on the list, if you've ever been a fan of Skyrim or Oblivion, this game is definitely worth checking out. Even though there is no mandatory subscription fee to this game, one does exist that you might want to look at. If you do pay the subscription fee, you get access to all six expansions that have come out for this game, or you could buy all the expansions individually if you like that model more. Now coming to number three, we have World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft has been out since 2004 and is pretty much the name you think of when you think MMORPG. Since World of Warcraft has been out for so long, there is innumerable things to do in this game. There are so many expansions and so much content that it might actually be overwhelming to a new player. As of the recording of this video, in a couple weeks the newest expansion for World of Warcraft will release called The War Within, and there's a lot of players that are very hype about it. There is both an initial buy-in and a $15 per month subscription fee to World of Warcraft, making it the most expensive MMO on this list. Needless to say, WoW is incredibly popular, so if you're looking for a heavily populated game, this is definitely the one to go for. There are too many PvP and PvE modes to even mention in this game, and the leveling experience is very fun and very quick. There's a lot of races and a lot of classes to play as, and they all play very differently. Probably the most appealing thing about World of Warcraft, though, is that you can play it either extremely casually or extremely hardcore. You can see all of the content in this game pretty easily on a low difficulty setting if that's what you want to do, or you could aim for the very high difficulty and really test your skills. If you've never played World of Warcraft, now is a great time to jump in with the new expansion, or if you're planning on resubbing for nostalgia's sake, that's always a good time too. Speaking of nostalgia, next on the list is Old School RuneScape. Old School RuneScape is having a massive resurgence right now, with a ton of players playing it, streaming it, making videos about it, it is everywhere. This is by far the oldest MMO on our list, but it holds up even today. RuneScape's selling point is almost just how grindy it is. It has that old school game feel, that difficulty, the spending thousands of hours grinding materials to get what you want. It's definitely not for everyone, but it holds a huge nostalgia for those who played it back in the day. If you have never played old school RuneScape, it is completely free, and you can go check out what all the hype is about, what all the nostalgia is about, just by downloading it and clicking play. Even though all of these MMOs that I've talked about so far are really great games that might have just minor downsides, there is one that I think in 2024 stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that MMO is Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is a massively popular MMO that originally released in 2014. This game is obviously based on the Final Fantasy franchise, but does not require that you play any previous Final Fantasy games to understand what's happening in this one. The reason this game is on top of this list is because I feel like it has everything that you would want in an MMO. A massive, sprawling map that is absolutely beautiful, the best music I've ever heard in an MMO hands down, the combat is hotkey based, similar to World of Warcraft, there are plenty of both PvE and PvP modes to enjoy, including a lot of minigames to kill time, and there is hands down the best story that I've ever seen in an MMO, or in any game I've played. The community is extremely welcoming to new players, and one of my favorite parts, you can play every class at the same time on one character and don't need to make alts to experience a new class. There is both a buy-in fee and a subscription fee to this game similar to WoW, but there is a cheaper $12.99 option rather than $15 a month option if you're okay with only having one character per server. Well, this has been my list of the top 10 MMOs that you can play right now in 2024. Let me know if your opinion differs in the comments. This has been Pasla TV, and I'll see you in the next video.